The Star Times project to provide access to satellite TV in 1,000 Nigerian villages has been fully delivered by the company. At the completion ceremony on Tuesday in Abuja, the Chief Executive Officer of Star Times Nigeria, David Zhang, said the completion of the project is a testament to the great feats that China and Nigeria can achieve together. The report. It was at the 2015 Forum for China-Africa Cooperation Summit that President Xi Jinping unveiled plans to bring digital TV to 10,000 African villages. Nigeria got 10% of this number. And so, over the last one year, Star Times has been working, sometimes with Nigerian engineers, to deliver on this promise. It is a project which has cost the Chinese government just over $5 million. It's a way of, at least, um, um, extending information, communication and entertainment to the town. Star Times firmly believes this project will further cement the good bilateral ties between China and Nigeria. We have come across country into different states working with uh, local leaders and uh, communities to successfully implement this project. 772 local governments were covered by this project in the end. We managed to install in all the local governments in Bornu, in Yobe, and in Adamawa. It was only Zamfara. We couldn't go to two local governments. That's why we have 772 out of 774 local governments benefiting. Each village got one 32-inch TV, projector, and solar TV, and 20 decoders were given to 20 families. These monarchs are here to testify to the impact the project has had on their communities. It provides uh, access to communications, information and entertainment to our rural populace. So in this manner, I would like to... It also allows family bond. You see a lot of uh, people come together to watch in the town hall, even in the palace. So from there, you'll be able to the federal government a few years ago launched a digitization process. This move by Star Times fits right in with this plan.